Hi everyone. Welcome back to Grandpa Mark's Hobbies and a unboxing of a Gallery Ace Series GHAC 89D Dual Action Ace Airbrush. Uh, the Ace stands for uh, Quick Self-Centering Structure in there. So let's open this up and see what we have. Now the good people at Gallery are offering a uh, until 8 5 of 23 a uh, discount if you use the code that I will put right here and I'll also put it in the description down below. So let's open this up. We have a test sample. I guess this is how they they actually tested the airbrush before they sent it out to you very cool there's a quick start guide right on top and you're seeing this is the same as i am this is just an unboxing and you know i do like to do these dry so very cool uh, matters do some small tests on paper before use a little paint or water i always like to test them out brand new with water first and then it basically shows you how to hook it up with the uh, Ah, it looks like a quick disconnect. Very nice. And it says to use a water filter, which we always do, or I always do. Okay. This is Gallery, G-A-A-H-L-E-R-I. They contacted me a couple of weeks ago, or really about a week ago, and said, would you like to try this out for us? And you know me, I'll do anything for you guys. So... I said, yes, um, this is nice. It has two Teflons and two O-rings in the bag. It has airbrush oil, very nice. It has two tips on it, and I'm gonna read them right off the box so I don't mess the size up. It has a, a 0.38 and a 0.5 millimeter tip. The 0.38 tip, I imagine, is inside it. That's usually the way they go. God, this box is built like a tank. <laughs> so here's our first tip. This will be the 0.5, since I know there's going to be one in there. And let's see what the tip looks like. I'm going to put my specs on here and really get into this. Wow. I'm not sure. I hope you can see that. That tip is beautiful. Let me put this back on here before I stab myself. Or bend the tip. I'm always afraid of bending the tips. Um, first time I had an airbrush, it was a, an old Harbor Freight one. And sure enough, I bent the thunder out of it. Wow, I can't even get this out of here. Oops, there goes my whiteboard. Let's see what we have in here. We have our cover and our jet. Ooh, gee whiz, look at the jet on this thing. It said it had eight um, sided air and that's sure enough. Look at all the lines on there for the air to go through. Very nice. And a Teflon. I'm going to put this right back in here. And our jet cover. No tools required, I'd see. Put that in there. And it came with a little piece of foam. So it doesn't bounce all over God's creation. We're gonna put that back in there. And we're gonna push that back in there. There, I'm not gonna push that in as hard. Now let's pull this thing out. Okay, now that feels substantial. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now, it, it, uh, it's got some weight to it. There we go. <laughs> Jeez, even the cup's heavy. Now, 
nice, nice big hole inside there. So we can get our Q-tip in real easy to clean it. Uh, I've worked with a couple of them that were very small and uh, they were kind of a pain to clean. That's nice. Now let's check this out. I'm telling you, this is heavy. It not, it, it's got some weight to it, let me put it that way. Uh, it's got a little rubber tip cap on it. A closed tip uh, protector. Oh, that moves really nice, guys. Very nice. No banging, no grinding, no nothing. It does have the adjuster on the back. Um, what that's for, you push down your air, you pull back, and this will limit how far, watch the handle here while I turn. See that handle move? That limits how far back you can pull this to regulate how little or how much air um, you put out. Now I like to uh, I like to be able to be in control where I don't really use that that much. But some people love that. This feels very nice. We got a quick disconnect on it. Nice cap with a Teflon seal in there. So it's a no leak seal. Let's take our protector off. See the tip? Guys, that tip looks polished to me. That is very clean. I have my visor with both lenses on and that looks good. Pulls back in there real nice and smooth. Very smooth. I'm going to pull this back in while I put this back on. Just in case I do that. Threads feel nice and clean. Let's take this apart. I'll be uh, spraying with this day after tomorrow. Nice O-ring on there. Our jam nut is smooth. Needle feels good in there. Very good. I can feel just a smidge of resistance on there from the gaskets. Not too bad. This is very nice. And again, this is the GHC GHAC dash nine eight delta. So there we go. Cap just screws on, or cup. I'm sorry, just screws on. I always call it the cap for some reason. Those threads feel nice and tight too, or nice and clean, smooth. This has a comfortable weight to it. I, I keep saying it's got some weight. It, it, it does, but it, it feels nice. This, this is very, very uh, comfortable in my hand. So let me take the top. Well, let me put the cover back on here. I'm going to pull the top off, back off or the cup back off. And we're going to put this back in a box and don't go anywhere. Because I'm telling you, these guys want you to see everything. They didn't just leave us with one. Look at this, it's got a nice um, disassemble guide in there too, right in the box. You take this thing apart, you can literally set everything right on there. The one thing it does have, and some people are a fan of it and some aren't, is the uh, little backer for the air is not attached. I can see that right now, it comes off. But that's, you either love it, you hate it, or you don't care one way or the other, right? <laughs> Let me put the box on this and just wait a minute because you're going to be blown away here. This is the ACE series. And like I said, that's a self-centering system. You saw that the uh, seat on there for the needle. Now watch this. There you go, guys. Here's another one. This is the GHAD68. This is an advanced. It has... Uh, two needles, a 0.38 and a 0.5, just like the other one. And I think you're going to like this. 
they asked me if I wanted to try one of their airbrushes and I said, sure. And then they ended up sending me these two. And I am intrigued by this. I've, I've seen these before. I, I like them. Look, it still has the, the test. Look at how nice that pattern is. Very nice. It has a breakdown. We're gonna go over that quick. And look at that. Again, it has the Teflon seals, two O-rings, two Teflons. It has the oil, it has two caps, or two caps, cups, and I'm going to have to grab the tweezers again. We have a quick disconnect, I believe. Yep, look at that. Let's pull this thing out right now. Check this out. Oh, that's got some good weight to it, too. Very, very nice. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Very smooth. I like it. Again, it's got the closed um, tip cut protector on it. Nice looking needle. But I like this trigger idea. I am, I'm new with this. I've never used one of these before except for painting a car. It's got your hole for putting your oil in. Again, your rubber tip connector, Teflon ring on the inside. And let me pull out one of these caps or cups. A small one. This box, I'm telling you, they don't mess around. These are, these are soft but hard as hell. <laughs> It's not going to get damaged in shipping. Let's pull this open first. It'll probably be easier to do while it's on there, but I'm stubborn. Again, nice big hole in the bottom. Easy to clean out. That, I like that. Um, nothing worse than trying to struggle when you're trying to clean it out. See right down inside there? Everything moves. Seems like it's moving nice. Let's screw this, ca this cup on. Oh yeah, it, it, it goes on there just smooth as glass too. Nice. And let's check this out. I'm gonna move this out of the way for a second. And again, there's that same code um, for this and that, and it's good until the fifth. It's good until the fifth of this month. Or, or um, August 5th. I'm going to take this part off on the back. And check it out. Same jam nut. Nice feel. Nice feel on that needle. Just, just a smidge of resistance. No grinding, no nothing. Just drops right in there. Tighten that back up. Check this out again. It's got the hole on the bottom and your adjuster. Fits on there nice. Screws on there very nice. Um, that's it. Nice. I keep saying nice. I'm, I'm very impressed with the feel of this. You have your, your uh, air valve hookup. Goes all the way up through. I'm looking at Again, the exploded drawing in here. Um, this is a lot different than anything that I am used to. Here's your O-rings. There's two of them, one for your, your valve itself and one down here below to seal. Other than that, this is all basically the same. You got your spring, your, your uh, spring case, your, your needle. Um, your needle, they call it the needle chucking guide. Your spring for that, and then your spring sleeve. Let's open it up. Just, I mean, it's just that simple. Everything comes apart nicely, huh? No tools needed. Like I said, pull the needle out. Um, let's open the front end of this up. I just took the back end off twice. 
make sure that that's on there straight. We don't want to bend that needle before we even use it. Let's take the front off. Start with the tip protector again. Nice, that's got a nice big hole on it too. That'll be easy to clean. That's a big deal for me too, is, is with my big dang fingers, how easy is this gonna be to clean? I'm gonna, I have to take the backpack off because I like to pull the needle out of the way a little bit before I mess with the front. So I'm just gonna pull it out and give it some clearance like an airplane clearance clearance we'll take the tip off of this this is the same tip as on the other one there we go nice golly the machine work in this is outstanding that brass is very very well done and I used to work in a machine shop in the service, so I'm, I'm impressed. Let's check our needle out, or our, our jet. Again, the same jet. It's got the eight. Um, now it's got dog hair on it from Daisy. It's got the eight um, grooves cut in it for the air to come down around and create that vacuum and to atomize it nice I am very curious of how these spray just drop in Teflon seat on the brass that's all it is so here we'll do that set it in there and this is what they're talking about self-centering nothing should be jammed it should all fit in there very very easily if you got to jam it, you're doing something wrong. That's it. Nice. I think I have a new clear coat brush. <laughs> Push forward just till it stops. You don't have to crank it in there. You don't want to do that. Just bring it in till it stops and then tighten up your jam nut. We'll put the backpack on again make sure it goes in so that you're not cocked before you get it on the threads these are very impressive very impressive i like this a lot and like i said i think that this may turn into my clear coat gun just because of the way i hold it and with the uh with the quick shine that i spray that comes out so fast i think this will give me a lot more control over over that and again what a nice touch to give us the quick disconnect you know i have the one fitting already on the on the hose so now i can just pop it off and use whichever of the airbrushes i want to use so that is great but there we go two fantastic airbrushes um Give me a few days and I'll have a video on how we use them. But I just wanted to quickly get this out and show you what they sent. And I want to thank them for contacting me and um, asking me if I would show you all this. And I, I told them, I, I, not going to lie, I said uh, that if it's, if it's good, I will let everybody know that. And if it's not, I will also let everybody know that. So I'm not going to I'm not going to lie or or smoke send smoke up anybody's ears. Um it is what it is. So we will let that go. I'm going to let you go as I put the box back together again. Don't forget to check out um I'll put the links in the description on here cuz they did send me links to other airbrushes too, not just these two. They have a nice lineup. Um, but there we go. Two really, really good brushes. Well, they seem really, really good right now. Um, I'm excited to get them, get them on the, uh, in the air booth and try them out. So anyhow, I will let you go. I am Mark. This is Grandpa Mark's Hobbies and you all have a great day. Thanks for watching.